So how do you know how much weight to use? The main factors that affect how much weight you use is your body weight, the thickness of your wetsuit, the depth that you're diving, and if you're diving in salt water or fresh water. To calculate about how much weight you need on your weight belt, you're going to multiply 4.4 times every 1 millimeter of wetsuit thickness. Then divide by 3 and divide your weight by the 3. For example, if I weigh about 185 pounds wearing a 7 millimeter wetsuit, I'm going to multiply 7 millimeters times 4.4 which will equal about 30.8. Divide that by 3, which will give you approximately 10.26. Divide that by my weight to give me approximately 18 pounds on my weight belt. That formula puts you in a general ballpark of how much weight you should use. Everybody's body is built differently. Some are more buoyant than others. Some are leaner. Some have more muscle. So using the formula is a good starting point. And a simple buoyancy test will help you solidify how much weight you actually need. You can test your buoyancy by going in the water, putting on some weight, and relaxing your body, letting your fins sink below, your arms on your side, and without kicking, you should stay afloat. When you exhale, take notice if you sink. So generally, if you sink below the surface and continue to sink, then you are overweighted. If you stay afloat and your body lifts towards the surface, then you are underweighted. And if you're able to take a breath through your snorkel after you, your exhale, then you are weighted properly. Another way to test if you're properly weighted is to drop 33 feet beneath the surface and you should not sink or float. So if you don't have enough weight on your weight belt and you're underweighted, you'll have a difficulty time dropping or making drops. You have a difficulty staying down on the bottom and you'll be burning a lot of oxygen from using excessive energy and force. If you have too much weight on your weight belt, it will give you an easier time descending but a difficult time ascending, which increases your chances of shallow water blackout and it'll be harder to rescue you in extreme situations. Being properly weighted is crucial to free diving and for your safety. With more time in the water with your dive partners, you'll be able to gauge how much weight you're comfortable using at different depths. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if there's anything I missed or if you would like to share something that works for you, leave it in the comments below. Till next time, like, subscribe, and dive safely.